I want to talk to you today about the whirlwind. Because I have seen a vision of a whirlwind picking up and separating out uh, the, the different things uh, that's, that's on the ground. In this natural realm, there are things that we need to separate out from our lives. And I think about what Jesus said in Matthew 25, that he's going to separate the sheep and the goats. And the, the sheep will be on his right hand, and the goats will be on his left. And I also think about what it says, uh, that we are to come out from among them and be ye separate. And that's what the whirlwind is all about. It's about separation. It is about the, the scattering of the things in our life that do not need to be there. Anger, unforgiveness, pride, uh, haughtiness, um, bitterness, all of those things that do not need to be in our life. The whirlwind of the Lord is going to come and pick those up and scatter those uh, to, to the wind and make us a pure vessel of honor that he can use and he can work through. You know, when I saw this vision, I saw uh, tumbleweeds, and just as you're watching behind me, I saw the whirlwind picking up these tumbleweeds and, and scattering them. Now, I'm from West Texas, and I am very familiar with uh, whirlwinds and with a small little windstorms that pick up the tumbleweeds and scatter them all over the place. Uh, mesquite bushes. Uh, I have seen those, um, you know, being uprooted. And and so I'm very much familiar with uh, what the whirlwind is all about. What, what the Lord said to me, uh, let's, if I can go to Ezekiel uh, chapter 1 verse 4, I looked and I saw a whirlwind coming out of the north, an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. The center of the fire looked like glowing metal, but in the fire was what looked like four living creatures. In appearance, their form was that of a man, but each of them had four faces and four wings. You know, Ezekiel saw a whirlwind. Other prophets of God saw a whirlwind. Of course, Elijah, we know, was taken up in a whirlwind. And what the Lord spoke to me about the whirlwind was the remnant is coming out of the whirlwind. The, those that are true, those that are believers, those that are steadfast uh, in the service of the Lord and in the kingdom of God, they're coming out. Those that the, the whirlwind is separating out the false from the true. And, and this is what we need to hang on to. Because in the days coming up, uh, if we believe the false, we're going to fall. We're going to fall just like uh, the rest of the world. But as we believe the truth, which is the word of God, then uh, we are going to stand. And I do believe this. You know, in Isaiah... Uh, 41 16 it says that he saw a whirlwind um, in Proverbs 10 25 uh, again it talks about the whirlwind picking up uh, those things that are wicked those things that are false and scattering them and so I just encourage you today uh, to be aware that the whirlwind of the Lord is coming uh, to to separate those things in your life that do not need to be there. And I pray for God's peace to come upon you. I pray that God's holiness will come upon you uh, in the name of Jesus. And as you see the whirlwind of the Lord, that you will rejoice because it's going to separate out the false from the true things. And we want those true things. Thank you for viewing.